Rock, and with my pleasure, I have my friend, sister, Leather Leonet, the queen of metal, as we all know. Hi, Leather. How are you? Hey, but look, I have your shirt on. Do you see? Really? That's amazing. <laughs> I have yours. Wait, wait. I have a lot of your shirts. Sisters. Shirt sisters. <laughs> Hi, everyone, by the way. It's here. Oh, you got it from SPV. Yeah. It's cool. here. Okay. And then as well, that. That we won't I love you. I love die you. about that. I mean, basically, I'm wearing you between tattoos. I know. I know. You're amazing. I, I, I post that a lot. I post that a lot. People like, is that you? I'm like, no, it's Ada from Italy. Yeah, but it's because you, the lyrics resonate a lot. That's that's that. Yeah. And that quote that now we're going to read, read it better. Because, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. we have the vinyl. We are the chosen is out. Finally, after, I mean, it's already November, it's past months. It takes about five months ago, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and how do you feel about um, I, I, you know, I'm just busy. I'm just trying to get on the road, and it's, it's always kind of like a work in progress. It's not like I, I mean, it, it's a good record, but I kind of didn't even listen to it anymore. I'm just trying to get out there, get out there, get out there, you know? It's just me that I put it in. You are my alarm clock. <laughs> I love it. No, I'm, I'm happy. I mean, I'm, I'm really proud of it. There's still a lot of press going on about it. I'm extremely grateful, but I'm just trying yeah. to get on the road, you know? Yeah, because as well, like a lot of uh, webzine and, and anyway, fanzine, uh, interviewer, podcast reach you out. So you basically are back on this mainstream yeah. of music. Yes. Th thank you, everyone, for accepting me back. But yeah, I'm back in, back in the circus, as we call it. Accepting you back. You were there. So welcome. <laughs> So, we are the chosen. We spoke about we are the chosen. For anyone, I think that everyone saw the, 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 the artwork, I think already everyone saw it, but I wanted to show it every time to the people, the artwork. That, of course, it's you and Vinitex, of course, because it's you who produced the, the album together as well. Yes! That's the mess. The album starts with We Take Back Control. That was as well the first single you released. So, We Take Back Control about who, I mean, there's a, a main uh, meaning of this song behind it. Yeah. It was actually the first song that Vinny and I wrote and it was, it set up the stage and the premise for the rest of the record. <laughs> COVID hit and my musical life turned into chaos and I didn't know what the hell to do, like everybody. And I had been looking around at my so-called career and I have always let everybody else take care of it because I yeah. thought everybody else was on the same page and you know what a stupid girl um so no it, it's not it, but it's a positive message I just needed to take back control I need to do things my way the way I want to uh shalom to everybody else have a good life but yeah I, I had to take it back I had to take responsibility for what was or was not happening so yeah I mean it's a it's a positive but a pissed off song yeah yeah, because it's like after, I think it's, it's a song that you can apply for every one of us that lived through the COVID period. But anyway, because we are all living this society, this fucked up society that's dictated. Yeah, rules. and I, I think it, it probably had nothing to do with COVID. COVID just gave me time to think more, usually. And right. I had never really written a record before. So when I actually sat down and thought about it, you know, which what we had two and a half years, it just came. I mean, it was just kind of like life in general. I mean, as I sit here with you today, there's things happening in my life where it's the same damn thing. I mean, wish everybody the best, have a good life and take back control. I mean, yeah. that's just the way it goes. Yeah, yes. it's just life in general. Yeah, so I mean, that, that, that's all <clears throat> about. And, it, and it, like I'm reading each song is like, like about, of course, like we can say like the heavy metal uh, maintaining the life, uh, the, the sh um, shadows uh, facing the deal. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, being the chosen like we, because we spoke you released the video the first video clip yes. of we are the chosen which is amazing so how was that because as well i saw behind some behind the backstage there was some funny mo i was recording the video clip that's what oh my god the video is insane um it uh it, it <laughs> I don't know. It was actually kind of funny. I had never done it before, and I was saying, holy shit, do I have respect for actors now and people? Oh, my God. Look over here, but your mark's over here. Look forlorn. Put your clothes this way. The left. Oh, my God. It was insane. And then uh, it was a, actually kind of a funny story, but 
Vinny got actually really pissed off at me because the, so the first day we were going to do vocals. Walter, the guy, said, we're going to do you today and you're going to sing the song. Well, yeah. I, I had only sang the song like five or six times in the studio with my iPad with the lyrics. I didn't know the freaking song. Vinny got so pissed at me and Walter and I were just laughing. Um, but it was great. You know, Brazil is a beautiful place. Um, those two places were just insane and Walter waited till the sun was going down. Um, it was labor intensive, but uh, it was fun. It was like, holy shit, I'm shooting a real video. And you know, I'm dramatic, so it kind of all worked out. Um, you can see where it rained. We had that one day of rain. Yeah, that's raining. That's which, just and nobody else wants, like, let's just use it, use the rain. So you can see Vinny and I were all soaking wet, which I thought was a cool texture to have. But then when we did the fire scene, oh, Ada, it was raining, it was raining, yeah, it was well, raining. That, yeah, but... And uh, the, you know, the, Walter, the like video, the he, he was ready to wrap it up. He was ready, and Vinny was so adamant. <laughs> Vinny, Vinny made us sit there for like three fucking hours until he said, it's Brazil, the rain's going to stop. So we shot that probably at 10 o'clock at night. There were no lights at the resort. It was soaking wet. It was, I mean, my feet were just soaked. But hey, it came out okay. But it was, but it was fun. fun. It was an adventure that I hope to get to do again. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. And then again, you know, they worked through magic. I mean, he took, you know, a thousand hours of uh, those pieces and he made it beautiful. You know, he made it beautiful. Yeah, because as well, like, uh, if you look like the, the storyline of the video, at the end, uh, there is yes. a, the, uh, this figure that gives you the, 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 the sword. This word that's uh, like yes, that's a beautiful yeah. like. Well, we wanted, you know, because we are the chosen. I don't know, you know, I get all freaky and corny about Ronnie Dio, but you know, when he passed away and I went to his services, uh, it was a horrible thing. But I can. That's when I came back thinking to myself, really, the powers that be, God, whatever you want to call it, gave you yeah. this talent, and you are sitting on your ass doing nothing. So I was at the, in the cemetery and, you know, I just kind of, you know, he chose me, move on. You're one of the metal family, keep it going. So it was kind of, Vinny and I talked about it one time. I said, I, I said, when you do this video, it has to be something like a torch, whether it's a crucifix or some iconic symbol that I get. So, and he loved the fire idea, so. Yeah, but, but of course, like, come on. It's like Ronnie chose you, Ronnie Dio chose you. Yeah, and that's and the, he chose a lot of us, but oh, I'm sorry, yeah. it's the sword. That's what it was, not even the fire scene, it was the sword. The sword. Vinny and I were saying, and, and it was Vinny's idea to get the sword and the whole passing of the sword. I thought that was, he did that so beautiful. And let me tell you, Vinny and I were, are short people, so the bridge was, we, we, you could only see our heads. <laughs> so, so he had to, Walter, we were basically standing on chairs, you know, we're going. <laughs> It was so fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. That is beautiful. And Vinny's friend Julie did my hair and my makeup, thank God, because That's I don't know what the hell I was doing. And then you could tell that it would rain because my hair went. But it was so much fun. And I think it's a good video and it's doing really it's, well. It's so, no, it was it's so much fun. Because you, you reach, like, almost immediately 100k views. And more yeah. now. That's, and that, that's big for me. That's really big for me. Well, that's SPD. You know, I never have a big label behind me. But I'm actually having some big promoter just picked it up here in the States now. So it'll it'll get another push. Uh, now, of course, it's, it's just all about leather. And it's, and, it's, and it's not only the ear about leather. It's your time in general. It's your time. I hope so. Yeah, Taking back so. control. <laughs> Taking back control, like you were saying. Are you really coming to Mexico? Oh, I want, yeah. What, what did I promise you? The first time that you're gonna perform, you did, you did. I yeah. want to be there because, as well, it's a, a nice uh, uh, festival. In my oh, it's gonna be great. There are and as Vixen, well, Vixen just got yeah, on too, Lorraine, so yeah, 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 yeah. There is Lorraine, they're playing as well, and yeah. there are beaches. That I yeah, they got it, yeah. the drummer Lala some weeks ago. She's a fucking cool, and I saw a lot of you in her, you know, like uh, the same oh, cool. ranked. And yeah. I thought, what that, that's like, reminds me of Leather. I want to interview her from all the back. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm excited to meet them. And it, the first day is going to be the female day, so it, it's going to be, it's going to be sick because we're all so pumped up. We're all so that's pumped amazing. Up. I mean, I could be all female, and it's, I mean, I'll, after all these years, I mean, being there, I mean. How long was the last time? How was the last time you performed live? Oh God, 2019. Okay, the Raven, the Raven tour. Yeah, yeah, six years ago. 
So I think you are going insane. So you're looking forward to be on the stage. I don't know if you go. Oh God, in, in a huge stage. Oh God, yeah. yeah. And of course, we're all going to be very friendly competing with each other. It's going to be like I'm in Saint Laurent. Watch this bitch. You know, it's going to be fun. It's going to be so fun. Yeah, yeah. Of course, I mean, uh, of course, you do different, uh, we can say genre, different lifestyles as well. Oh, of course, it's going to be You're both queen. Yeah. I told the time, you're both queens. Yeah, 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 queen. yeah, yeah. But I... One thing that I love about as well the video clips you shoot is that how they said the things that I like about you later that you always stick with yourself. So even in the video clips, you were wearing just simple clothes, being yourself yeah. for yourself. You weren't just leather. Not even, you know, like remember all the skin naked and stuff. Just you. That's the beauty. Yeah. I the can't, jacket. you know, I, I, the I, jacket. I can't I can't do the whole i don't know. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm actually a really simple person. I'm just a jeans and a vegan leather chick, but yeah, I can't get all crazy. I'm just not a, a showy person in that way. It's my, I show it with my voice, you know? But your voice says to my, I mean, your voice says, I mean, <laughs> and finally, I'm happy that now finally everyone is like uh, taking, giving you the credit that you deserve for the voice because we are fighting for that for eight years. <laughs> Finally, and of course the song. Now what we can speak because we, the the interview we did before the release of the album, we mentioned off your head. We mentioned that we did a song yes. about that. So what about this song, which is uh, "Off My Skin Forever"? And uh, <laughs> yes, "Off With Your Head." Uh, of course, everyone it's wide open to interpretation, but it was something that happened with me personally, uh, with someone that um, was important to me in my life. Um, you know, I think you can listen to the words and understand what it means. But again, it's about loyalty and respect, which is a really big fucking deal to me. And I saw a lot of times I have a hard time getting it, usually with male-female relationships. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was just, when I heard that, nah, 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 I was like, I, Vinny, I have an idea for this song. So yeah, it's, it's my favorite song still. And I think vocally I delivered, I delivered the angst behind it. And it was also a time, um, I go through these periods where I like to look back on the, like, the Queens, Catherine and Victoria, and how they used to, um, you know, cut people's heads off. Yeah, um, yeah. I can't even think of the term right now. Yeah, um, the in a lot of, most of the time, it was the guillotine. You most of the time, time, it was the kings. It was the kings that would have these guillotine deaths ordered. But... Catherine and Victoria, they were basically behind it. They would say, hey, and a lot of times they would have had sex with these people and then uh, get rid of them. So, yeah, it was a reflection of, I wish I had that kind of power to, to make you, uh, for your oh, lack God. of respect and loyalty, motherfucker. Well, no, that, that that's was... true. <laughs> like, that's yeah. the important values in life for both men and women. Yeah, yeah, it is. It and is, it and is. when, when yeah. it, the, there is the lack of respect, you start as well to lose trust in the people close to you as well. So that's why you have to. Well, let's do the whole record, right? And then the son of trust with us. Nah. I mean, yeah, I, I have a real, I have a real problem with all of that. In, yeah. In the, in the people that I have been meeting up for, you know, 17, 18, oh, yeah, I have a whole problem. It's not a problem. It's just I finally got to sit down and go, hmm, what do I want to talk about? Getting my shit back together. Exactly doing your your path your journey your own journey yeah. this journey not leather uh, end just your yes yes that's and I'm beginning a new one so yeah yeah it's a good record it's a good record that, that's already started started the next year is continue this year we'll continue that i hope so yeah, yeah yeah because of course yeah. and i knew i knew it was going to be because i talked to a lot of promoters and stuff and they're all backlogged from covid so i understand yeah. they're trying to make up for all the money all the insurance all the everything they lost in 20. so you know yeah. I, I have to be patient they'll tell me i have to be patient yeah, no, so i'm trying i remember that i remember yeah There's a lot of but as well like uh, i think with all the years coming up like in the next year as well i think we will see you as well like in europe and i'll yeah, yeah. I just have to be patient, and patient, patience is not my virtue. Because, uh, <laughs> like I told you, here in Sicily, you have everyone is waiting for you. Uh, you have no idea. You have an idea. I, all the time I go in Corleone, the small town, everyone they are, they ask him, can Leather, will, she would love to come here and play, she would love to come here and see us, she would love to meet oh, us. God, yeah. They love you, they love you, really. I'm not That's talking. great. You have a That's family great. there. And, uh, <laughs> And there's that small town, uh, Cerda, Cerda, where you are. Oh, where my grandparents are. 
Yes. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. I told my mother that she was like, you know, I'm like, yeah, I'm out of town. Yeah, I have to go well, there. Yeah. yeah, we have to take you here, even on holiday, if you're all around in the next following. I know. Before. Maybe I should, I'm maybe I'll just you. come. Yeah. I'm gra I grab you some 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 European seats and took you here. <laughs> Fine with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But in, in all the the, um, the record, there are some song um, or some or a song that um, a part of of uh, your head that you like to sing, for example. That or it, or it was it was a little bit challenging, you know, for your vocals. I mean, nothing I think is challenging, but let's say let, let, let's pretending that was more challenging than others. Um, and no, that's not true. There's many. Th I like to sing with a challenge. That's actually a conversation I had with Vinny. On the, the next record, I want to push a little more because Vinny really likes to keep me in my strong pocket, you know? And I, I like, I like to do a lot of str I like to strain. I like to do straining vocals. But anyway, um, Hell of Ground um, was really important to, um, to him. Um, and I, I was singing it and it wasn't, uh, it just, it just wasn't. It wasn't coming out right. And I was like being a big baby in the studio going, oh, fuck, I can't sing it. I would actually look at Vinny and go, you sing it. Get somebody else to fucking sing it. You know? um, but then um, it just wasn't coming out right. And then we had a conversation that night. And he, he said, then he started, because the demo was just perfect. And as an artist, yeah. I'm sure many of you out there agree with me, the demos are just tits. They're just amazing. And yeah. then when you go to record it, ah. It doesn't have the same bite. I've always been a much better demo singer. I don't know why. I feel confined in the studio. But V just said to me, just listen. It was the chorus. The chorus wasn't coming out. It was a timing or something. So literally, I just listened. And it was, it was just like a, a breath that I was and I got it. It was just a, it, elongating of one note that I wasn't getting. So, But yeah, hell of ground. I wanted it to be so perfect. Um, yeah. And I still listen to it. And I, it could have been a lot better. But... You know, sometimes it just is what it is. You have an amazing voice. Come on, that's the, the I think that. Well, thank you, but yeah, you know yeah, that. You know that. And if you can, of course, with the following albums, uh, you can. You want to put more like pushing forward for yourself or just challenging. Yeah, and well. that was my Ronnie song. That's why it was the one that I'd written for Ronnie. So oh, I was so aggravated. Hallowed Ground was written for Ronnie. Yeah, that's amazing. That's. It's good to know as well for the people because everyone knows your um, amazing friendship we had with Ronnie. So well, that was a, that was something that he had said to me one time, and again I remembered it through COVID. I used to talk to him about what he did. Um, I, I don't know it's a stupid word, but magically or if, but if you're, if you're, when you sing, it just brings us. And he, and it was, I said something like magic. That word is so stupid. We have so much magic. And he looked at me and he goes, Well, you know, it comes and goes. Yeah. So I kind of remember that, yeah. Yeah, that's, I mean, in all of that as well, like, um, just to mention as well, the art workers, because it's important. Who did the artwork of these amazing... Oh, Marcelo Vasco. Marcelo Vasco, um, a friend of Vinny Tex, a Brazilian guy, a graphic guy. He's actually in a band called Troops of Doom, which is touring the hell out of Brazil and South America. He did the uh, Slayer cover. I, excuse me, Marcelo, I forget which one, but he did a huge Slayer cover and I think then from there, I mean, he, he's done Machine Head, Twisted Sister, um, a creator. And Vinny knew him and Vinny got in touch with him and he said, yes, send me your ideas. Because I don't do extreme metal, but everybody knows I freaking love extreme metal. So, and he is extreme metal. So I wanted to grab all the extreme metal that I could. Yeah. And I, he, gave, he gave me a lot of street cred and I gave him that, I sent him two pictures and that was a picture where I'd actually fallen down, it was taken, by my photographer by the Golden Gate Bridge. I had fallen and I was like, Fuck! I got really pissed. That's and I said, it, which is that one. Yeah, yeah. I That's said, it. look, I'm not a beauty queen. I, I don't care. I, make me look kind of like an evil, pretty cartoon, you know? And he, and he did it. He got it perfectly. Yeah. That was like the first thing that he sent us. Yeah, the first idea he sent us. The first idea and immediately. Yeah. yeah, with the broken building. And then we were like, you know, chaos yeah. and we were. Yeah, uh, Marcelo. Marcelo did that. That's amazing. And of course, yeah. I mean, like we were saying before, we were just uh, kind of saying all around the, the current project mainly that, of course, the album is out and we, you have to get <laughs> the album. There is this first uh, live in um, Mexico in this, in this festival after that. I don't remember, but I, I put an article in Pods and Rock about that. 
You already have a set list for the in your mind. You know, we don't we don't really have a set list per se. Um, uh, Vinny and I have kind of decided what we want to op open with, and of course we're disagreeing on what we to close with. Oh, go the two of us. Um, we we do have a bunch of songs that we're going to learn. We'll see how they sound when we get together. We'll learn, and play I mean, them. new or from the point. songs that we haven't played live. I mean, he wants to do okay. he wants to do a lot of older Chastain, which mm -hmm. I'm not too keen on. But Vinny also comes from a, a fan base, which uh, he says to me. He goes, let, let me tell you, as a fan of yours, this is what it is. So I said, okay, so we'll see. Um, of course, I'm going to do a lot of the, um, most of the new record, but yeah. Like I said, but I think we're going to pull out some older Chastain as stuff. As well from the, the previous album. And in Shockwaves and two. I mean, yeah, we're just going to about... get, get a bunch of stuff down and see what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never... Because they're never going to be able to pull me off that stage. It ain't happening. You will stay there. <laughs> I'm like, I ain't done yet. I got another song. Yeah. Yeah, and oh, come on, you know, once you're there, I'm going to say, oh, to the stage, yeah. say, you have to sing for today, tomorrow, the day and, now. And, and, and you know, I'm, I'm so not into that gender, the gender bullshit when the promoter first mentioned it to me. I'm like, oh, you have to have a girl day. But then when I saw the, it's, it's going to be so great. I've always wanted to meet Sabine from Holy Moses. I think they've confirmed. Yeah. I haven't seen Lorraine, Jesus, in a hundred years, Roxy. Um, yeah, Roxy. I'm excited to meet Burning Witches. I mean, yeah. Coven, I have listened to that woman. I mean, it, it's going to be a real estrogen fest. I mean, it, we're just going to lift each other up. I was just having that conversation with somebody that, you know, the press kind of makes it, it we're all supposed to hate each other. And it's no. not true. No. You know, we're all like, yeah, go. So it, it's yeah, going exactly. to be so much fun to see all this yeah. and that I've never met and before. And when we will be there or one other time, we have to do an interview with you and Lorraine because you're oh. like, you are both like yeah. 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 Huge queens of two different sides of uh, I want to say rock lamp metal. I don't know, but two. And actually, I, I was just, I was just talking to her because you know they're in Brazil actually today. Yeah. And um, she was saying something to me about the video and how. Uh, anyway, we were just swapping ideas. How, how she loved my style. And I said, "You probably don't remember, but I saw you blah 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 1987." And I have always thought that Lorraine was such a good, oh, I'm sorry, I know why I brought it up, because she posted something about Tina Turner and being her inspiration. I'm like, holy shit, that's, that's what you are. That's what you have. I always thought she was a phenomenal, phenomenal front woman. And I just yeah. kind of correlated it together. Yeah, she's into the Tina Turner thing. Anyway, all us front women are gonna go crazy. I wish that we could find a way, I want to talk to Marco maybe about us getting together and doing something, I don't know. I don't know because it's going to be such a, a mess, you know. But anyway, I, I'm so excited to see all of them. I really want to meet, like I said, Burning Witches. I listen to them. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just excited. It's going to be great. Yeah, because they are, um, I mean, Burning Witches, they are, um, that Laura is um, an amazing singer as well. She's this char huge charisma. But of course, uh, with all the, um, you know, the affection and, and the, the, the love that I can have for Burning Witches because they are amazing. Uh, I'm coming mainly for you and for Lorraine. I mean, mainly for you, but as well, there's Lorraine, Lorraine there's a two in one row. It's perfect. The two L's, the two L's. Yeah, yeah. The two it'll L's, right. It'll be great. I'm, I'm really excited and I, you know, it'll be, it's good. I haven't been on a big stage in a hundred years. I mean, I can't freaking wait. I'm just, I'm just, you know, I'm doing the contracts now. I'm just trying to relax until, you are good about it, actually. Until I have those tickets, right? <laughs> But yeah, in, in, in a lot of those big bands, like I know Wasp and I know Armored Saint, I mean, it's just going to be fun. It's going to be so much fun. Yeah, we should have, a, I think, one that my brother can say Oscar from Poison Rock. Oscar, are you here? He don't, doesn't answer because he's supposed to <laughs> so just because it's, of course, a fan of you, like I told you. <laughs> Oscar? Well, I have some problem to I'm from join here. the line because uh, the PC w wouldn't allow me to use my microphone, so <laughs> I'm having a little issue here. <laughs> hi, Oscar! <laughs> Just... Hi, uh, hi, Leather. Okay. <laughs> so, so, this kind of... Mm. Uh, okay, so, okay, so basically... Okay. Current so project. You, you, you go on. I try to. I okay, try to you will try to reach out. Uh, okay. Again. Use the phone. This uh, this technology. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, I mean, 
there, but there will be some kind of thinking. You're thinking to plan. I really like We Are the Chosen Few. Oh God, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That that'll be a big thing. Yeah, that that, that has, that's been Vinny's favorite song from the beginning. Okay. He wanted to do some kind of epic. I mean, he really took over on that song. I have to tell you, and he's such a um, he's really such a pure songwriter. He, no, no preconceived ideas about me, and he's not jaded, and he's young. And he, yeah, so I kind of let him go on that. I fought him the whole way, of course. When he when he introduced me, I, I wasn't used to all those orchestrational pads, and they kind of scared me. And, but he did a really good job, and yeah, that's that's going to be a, a main a main song for sure. Yeah. Yeah, like uh, like I, I can say a whole tour. Of course, we will. Like we say, we will go first. I think United States, and a little bit there, and a little bit there, and a little bit here. A lot of here. <laughs> <laughs> Even my mom wants to meet. Oh, that's so cute, mom. <laughs> my mom all the time said, "Oh, can you you say you say hi by me to letter? Don't forget because my mom oh, that's so cute. The that's song. so cute. What's your mother's name? Um, Leah. Leah. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, we are, we are the chosen will be a will be a, a big song yeah. for us. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I mean, and uh, for, and for the rest of the plans. So you're actually thinking to another record, or are you just enjoying this one for the moment? Yeah, I don't I don't really know what's going to happen about that, and I'm not even thinking about it right now. I don't I don't know what the future holds as far as recording a new material. I just know that you know. My concentration is on touring right now. I'm like, yeah, there's just so much going on. Yeah, I just want to tour, 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 tour. That's yeah. going to be my new logo on my social media. Tour, tour, tour. Yeah, I'm just trying to get out there. And again, I don't know about another record. I, I don't know about any of that stuff yet. Yeah. So let's say at this moment, we just enjoy uh, Leather um, We Are the Chosen. The Chosen, yeah. Because, of course, it's uh, available and all that. And as well, I saw that you release a lot of fun and amazing merchandise. And oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So much there's, funny stuff. Yeah, there's not only shirts. There is what I think beanie hats. So, right? Yeah, yeah. And I have coffee cups and the whole shit. Yeah, the coffee, <laughs> the, coffee, the mug is perfect. I'm going to take Isn't that. That is what. Yeah, I, I actually have to get one of those myself because you just design these things and send them off. It's not like I have them, you know, just so can we do this? I don't have any of those things. So I have to get them. <laughs> But you know, it's like when you're gonna re people when are gonna buy these things again and things that they will have once and they probably not be available with the time anymore. It's like so yeah. something for example that that band that uh, the yeah we met by Tel Gunner that guys they're doing Yeah yeah tell yeah 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 that, that, they are gonna play with uh, KK Priest. That's amazing oh. huge for them. They're starting to grow they're excited. Yeah. Oh KK Priest is gonna be in Mexico too, yeah. Okay, so there is a yeah. So that's I get to see Ripper, yeah. Good, I'm excited for them. Tell them I said hello. I think that singer is great. I yeah. like that singer a lot. Yeah, they did something like did as well, like releasing for each, uh, I don't know, each song and a special merchandise. So we talked yeah. about but that. Yeah. That's a are, they, were, are they from Italy? No. They're from UK. UK, UK, yeah. Yeah. They're from UK, yeah. No, but they are doing really great. Basically, we can say that after the first time we, we were with, with, the, um, with the bus player Bones in the interview, Yeah, I think that now they really belong to the mainstream as well. Good, 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 good. Because uh, if you think about it, that was back then. It's one in one year they went so far. That's really good for yeah. them. And you know, pe people are so hungry for music now that I think it, it's a good time for people to just throw mm. your stuff out there. I mean, people are like, give me something. Right. And I, I love how eclectic these festivals are now, which is you know even um, you know the the metal the thing in Mexico. I mean, there's hardcore people and melodic people and exactly you know there's so much i mean i just went to see morbid angel and uh a fifi's band crypt of death and they had this like I, i can't remember the name but this total doom band that opened up for them it was such a wide range of people it was great it was great wow. that's uh and yeah and then but as well a lot of band that you know they were like maybe in the 80s as well are coming back last week uh, last week some days ago i interviewed uh craig la cicero in san francisco from forbidden They come back again, uh, for yeah. and yeah. we can say that the scene in San Francisco is something that is different. That I was saying to him as well from the rest of the world. Like everyone from San Francisco is like all a big family, no matter which genre are you playing. It's uh, you know, you know, you know. It, uh, it certainly was like that in the '80s, mm -hmm. and of course, I wasn't around much in the '90s. 
But yeah, and I, I gotta tell you, I don't go to a lot of shows unless I know them, you know? No, of but, course. Um, I couldn't, uh, I didn't get into the Morbid Angel show. It was funny, you know, me, it's like, I'm leather. And they were like, whatever, get to the back of the line. It was so funny. So, and there were, and uh, I had walked by a group of people, and they were like, a group of people that just started singing Voice of the Cult to me. It was the cutest freaking thing. I mean, I oh, almost yeah. cried. I love and yet, yeah, in, in that crowd, I mean, Chastain fans at Morbid Angel. Yeah, I, I think I think it might be returning to that. Um, because it's sad that it became not like that. I think the music, I have those conversations with Vinny a lot. He's like, yeah, but you know these people, they should help you. It's not like that anymore. I, it's not like it's not like Metallica going, hey, I know leather, put her on the bill. It's not like that anymore. It's all business, I, but I, um, the few shows I have gone to. I was pretty that I can see like playing you. I don't know because I consider both of you like icons. It's like with, for example, Possessed. Yeah. I can see you with him playing live because you and Jeff, I think you share this uh, being humble, like being unique of a kind, because as well, like, is a yeah. Yeah, kind of a, of a human being. It's different. It's yeah, and again, I, like I said, I think the shows, I think they're going to start booking it differently because I have a talk all the time with the troops of doom and they're rah, 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 about Brazil. It's like, you know, I think I could open up a show for them. I mean, Crypto Death is opening for Ghost. You know, so I think there's a lot of, Yeah. I'm not sure prom promoters, I think, are a little scared to do it. But I'm like, look, if it's I'm the one that's going to get spit on, not you. Let me do it. You know, oh, yeah. I mean, back in the days, back in the days when we used to open for Exodus. Oh, my God. And Megadeth. I got everything thrown. It was great. I get everything thrown at me and spit on me. Just, I didn't mind. It's, it's just, I was there. I didn't mind. <laughs> it's just all future now. It's just like present and future, like going forward for your live. Yes. That's what, yes. That's what, let, let's say The main thing is now just always going live and play and play and play. So, and when you yeah. go back in Europe, we're following every day of the of the tour. Yeah, That's I know. What... I would like to just just be on the road for a year. Yes, yeah. I love not knowing where I am, what day no, it is. No. I mean, look, looking at each other. Is it Thursday? Yeah, I, I love. It. Yeah, and I mean, I think that would be like I don't know if I probably I will cry. Don't don't, don't be sad, but I will like, like I'm excited. Like oh my god, fine, I leave because I well, I, I, we're we'll probably I'll cry. It's I, I don't win. I'll get on stage and I'll see. I mean, they're expecting twenty twenty five thousand people. I will I will just be I'll, I will be crying before everybody. Let me tell you. <laughs> I, letter, you deserve it. And finally, I remember since the first day we started to do the interview and speak like the. First, first interview of everything that was a written one. Then uh, we started. Yes. To call. Yes. I, I, now everything is concrete. We start like uh, there was a maybe an album. Uh, there will be an album, a tour, and a tour and a live. Now everything is that. The live yeah. are here. So you I did. Know. You can. We've been talking for a few years. We've been talking for a few yeah. years. Yeah. It was before no, 2019, I think. So. Now we yeah. have ease and uh, start to enjoy that. The, the, really, the, I hope so. The Jesus, life. I know. I was thinking about that. Yeah, six years. Yeah, six. Yeah. Uh, I think the six six years means a lot to me right now. I think I'm going to have to write a song. There's a lot going on in my life about six years. Yeah, I have to write a tune to that. Six years yeah. or just okay. six. Six, and then, then people, of course, will think it's six, 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 which it won't be. <laughs> Of course, because we have everything different. <laughs> But of course, like Ian said, I really am thankful for I, I, again talking with you and finally meeting you. Finally, because let's uh, destroy this doom once for all and enjoy time together. I it'll, it'll and I can see all your soul, finally. I mean, I listened. That was one of the first things I was talking video. I said, Ada said she's coming to Mexico. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. I, I keep my word. I say it the first thing. To, Because you did say that. You did say that. You said no matter where it is. Yeah, it could be even a lake. Cool. It could be even a. We look forward to it. Scandinavia, but it's as well. A, it's a, you know an opportunity to travel. So, but the yes. main that being there and just enjoy. And I spoke with her. There is a girl that is doing promoting for this festival. She she was really nice. She said, "Oh, you're welcome in Mexico. It's like your home as well. They are really, 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 really kind." So that's they're amazing. Cool. Yeah, they're amazing. Yeah. I'm asking them all these questions. Is that where you? Yeah, I mean they're amazing. Yeah, yeah. they're amazing. Well, I think the, the, this festival was supposed to be in September, but okay. something happened with the park. He said there was some confusion with some other event, and he was really, really upset. 
Yeah. Um, and so I, I think he, he thought he was going to lose a lot of us. And I'm like, you know, I will still come in December. So they were really yeah. broken hearted about that. So they're really yeah. um, extending them, extending themselves to do this yeah, properly. That, but I mean, it's summer there. So it's, I mean, uh, for, coming from Sicily, that should, which is winter, it will be perfect because it's going to be yeah. summer. Yeah, it well, will be right summer. Yeah, yeah. Let's have some yeah. some summertime. I need it. It's raining here so, now. Supposed to... Oh, lad, you can just say and quick hi. I guess. I guess. I, guess I, I guess I'm cold. How are you, Oscar? Hi, leather. We have nice to meet you. It's a real, it's a real pleasure to meet you. You too, and I'm sorry that we don't have more time, but I, I will see you sometime. Take care of yourself. Listen to We Are the Chosen. Yeah, I will he listen with Absolutely, you yes. I, I just I just loved to to hear to to your album and uh, I love the sound and uh, something I I was uh, like amazed was your voice. Was something so powerful, so incredibly gigantic. It's from the gods. I don't, I don't yeah. know how to describe yeah. it because, because it's something it's a kind of voice you you meet once uh, in a center. Yeah, exactly. Thank Something you. incredibly Thank you. great. Yeah. And before everything we cut it, I want to just say really a huge hug to you, Leather, and see you in, in December. And Yes. Uh, and I'll, I'll, talk, I'll talk to you before then. I'll yeah, of course, of course. Before. Just let's say to the okay. people, next interview live with everyone. Yeah. 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 That'd be great. That'd yeah. Be great. Okay, honey, I got to go. Take care. I love you. Bye, Oscar. Love you. Bye. Yeah. I'm a chosen